Greetings, I'm Jason, and welcome back to the House of Cog. So, in that box, we've got the first major tool acquisition of the House of Cog. So, in there is a 30 by 20 by 13, I believe, inflatable paint booth that we're going to use in the next several projects to paint our vehicles in. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting it unboxed. So guys, here it is. It's about as big as the driveway is wide. And we're still inflating it. We haven't set up the filters yet, but yeah, that is gonna be a hell of a paint booth, 100%. Well, it's a hell of a structure. You can see there's those little um, little areas where you can hang lights from. All right. All right, you guys. So we just put my dad's 56 Chevy in here. And as you can see, we have plenty of room on all sides. To do work in so this is supposed to be 20 feet wide 30 feet long and about 13 feet tall and interior dimensions are supposed to be 15 feet by 23 and a half feet long and I believe 11 and a half feet high as you can see, there is plenty of room. In fact, you could probably just go camping in here. So, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be a fantastic uh, tool for us to use as far as painting the 911 Piper Proof Phoebe, and we even have enough room in here to paint Jaime's 66 Impala. So 
My dad has to paint his 56 Chevy. He's got to paint his Chevelle, which we call the old lady. And it's going to be a great help in getting those things done. Because we have the guns. We now have a booth to paint things in. And so we can take and do everything that we need here at our house. So I'm going to tell you how just utterly massive this structure is. So obviously we're not going to use it full time up here in the front due to the trees up there. Um, it is lightly pushing into them, but I felt like we we're going to be safe for just testing it and checking things out. So anyways, yeah, this is, this thing is going to be amazing to use. Lots and lots and lots of space. There's the filter, the rear filter. But these columns are pretty, pretty dang stout. Pretty dang stout. All right, so as you guys can see, We've moved the inflatable to the back, and today we are going to try painting, or actually we're going to try primering in it for the first time. So we got my dad's old lady in there, and as you can see, we've got a small buckle or um, interference right there with the tree. We're going to wrap that, and uh, but we got before we ordered this, we pre-measured it out to where we could guarantee that it would fit in the backyard and we've got a little bit of space left but yeah it's all set up and so we'll be showing you some video of us uh primering So, seems like everything's going good. Uh, definitely more than enough room to get around where you need to. Uh, we did get these wheel covers on Amazon also. These were, uh, I believe, RV wheel covers. So, yeah.
So it's probably a good idea with the, the, the intention of trying to keep this thing long term and not having to spend, you know, another $1,500, $1,700 again on something like this. Definitely, after you use it, I think it would definitely be a good idea to sweep it out and just get all the junk in that's in there out before you start the deflation process. So that's what we're about to do here in the next few minutes. So as you can see on this side, there's a vent here. And this vent distributes throughout the entire column system. And there's a vent on the other side too. Hey Dell, you go open that other vent. When you open these vents, it really starts to deflate very quickly. At this point, this is the the, the part where you just gotta wait and let it do its thing. The first time we set this up in the front, whenever you guys saw videos last, um, we uh, we tried for an hour to get it to deflate, and it's just it it really just it has to do it on its own. Alrighty guys, so I think that'll do it this time on the House of Cog. So I got my dad here, and as you saw, he was the one in the booth painting and whatnot. 
Dad, what were your impressions of the booth? The booth was well worth the money. He and I bought it uh, a few months ago. It's very large in size. It has plenty of room. Um, the the air filter system works pretty well. I put a extra fan in it just to stay cool because it was 98 degrees today. However, uh, I completely finished doing epoxy primer on my 72 SS 454 Chevelle. Um, I had very little overspray. I had very little mist in the booth. Um, I bought a new HVAC gun and um, it worked very, very well. Yeah, yeah. Um, as I was, and I believe I've mentioned this to you guys, I took the 69 down to get a paint estimate on it and they told me minimum $2,500. Now, you know, with the, my experience, my grandma taught my dad how to paint. And so my dad's gonna show me how to paint and just going out and getting some guns yourself and spending some money on a paint enclosure. For us, we've got five cars we're gonna have to paint. And at the end of the day, we're gonna save minimum $6,000 if you calculate five cars times 2,500 minimum. So, it is a very, it's a very large enclosure, as he was saying. It is 130 pounds. So it is, as you saw in the breakdown, it takes a lot of effort to break it down, or it can. We still haven't found the perfect storage method for it, but that's something that we're looking at. So, as always, the House of Cog wishes you a couple Till next time.